We're in the Gerald R. Nicholson Library on the campus of Linfield College in McMinnville. More than 90% of the students here receive financial aid, and Linfield is also one of the top 25 schools in the nation for student participation and study abroad programs. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. A well-traveled man in his own right is the president of Linfield College. Please welcome Dr. Tom Helley. Thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for coming to our campus. Well, when I say well-traveled, I don't mean in your off time, vacations. I mean, your resume uh, t took you all over the world. Well, it did. I, uh, in 1991, I had to help close a, a study abroad program in Yugoslavia because of the civil war breaking out there. And the next year, I was able to start one of the first study abroad programs in Czechoslovakia after the communists lost power. Um, I started a program in Tanzania for students. It, it, I've had a very satisfying and exciting career, really. And you really feel that uh, the cultural experience, the worldly experience, is all part of the educational process for a well-rounded student. Absolutely. In fact, I think that's the reason that we at Linfield buy the first plane ticket for any student who wishes to study abroad. We really believe that for students to be successful in tomorrow's economy and tomorrow's world, they need to have experience not only here in the Pacific Northwest, which is very important, but also in other countries, or at least in one other country, so they become comfortable with a kind of bicultural living. They need to understand what it's like to work with people from another society and another culture, because that's what they're going to be doing for the rest of their lives. Give us an idea of where those partnerships might take a student. Well, uh, a student uh, might go to China, for example. One of our uh, history majors wound up uh, running Converse Athletics operation in the country of China. Mm -hmm. um, we have students studying in China and Japan and Costa Rica and Germany and Norway, really all over the world. And our graduates are now working in those countries as well. We have one of our graduates, for example, working in finance in the banking industry in Germany. Um, one after another, they, they have these experiences abroad. They come back, but sometimes they get training that really makes them as attractive to foreign uh, employers as to American ones. Following all your travels, you worked at uh, Kemper uh, Foundation. Tell me what that is and how it may have helped you relate to a position such as this. Well, the Kemper Foundation is a foundation that supports private colleges. And it also is very concerned with trying to prepare liberal arts majors to enter the business world. And Linfield just seemed like a perfect fit, first of all, because we have not only tremendous liberal arts programs, but we also have a very fine undergraduate business program. The other thing was, though, that at, at the Kemper Foundation, I was evaluating country, uh, universities and colleges all over the country. And, and was I, Linfield on your radar Lin at that Linfield time? Was, Linfield was a college I knew about. I'd first heard about Linfield by reading Wine Spectator magazine, <laughs> because we're the host of the International Pinot Noir celebration here. But uh, it was one of the colleges that I had read about. I knew that it was a fine regional institution. But then when I began to do my homework and learn more about the strengths of this institution, I thought it was a great opportunity and really a hidden gem that had yet to be discovered nationally. And uh, you and your wife, it was interesting the way you told me that uh, you're wine enthusiasts. You can't get any closer to wine country. Well, having the International Pinot Noir celebration is great for us. But something else that's very exciting for the college is that the, the Center for Northwest Studies at Linfield received a grant from the ERAT Foundation to do uh, really the first serious history of uh, the Willamette Valley wine industry. And our students and faculty now have been interviewing uh, the pioneers of the industry. And we have a new exhibition that's just appeared at the library here in McMinnville. And we're very excited about this as being the first of many such projects. Well, in your four years, you've seen national championships uh, in sports and uh, a 12 to 1 student ratio to, to professor ratio. The professors know the students by first name. You're, you're doing something right here. Well, I think so. And one of the things that distinguishes us, I think, is that our student athletes are students first. We don't give athletic scholarships at Linfield. Right. But when I talk to students, student athletes, about why they came here, mm -hmm. they say, first of all, they wanted to go to a place where they would have a great education, and secondly, they wanted to go to a place where they knew they were going to have a competitive athletic experience. And that works for us. All right. Dr. Tom Helley, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day.